Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK. This is episode number five of the Panthers franchise series, man. As you can see, we just came off of a W versus Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Pretty high scoring game. There were some scars that uh, came from that game. We have one new injury. Let's go ahead and check it out. It's Brian Burns. Complete PCL tear. 47 weeks. That is unbelievable, man. We just lost our starting left end. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Now we have to go find a way to replace them. That is the bad news. The good news is the offense is up to an 85. So that means the offensive line, you know, that's definitely a, a huge reason why Okung is only a 76. He has normal development. He's 31. We might need to get younger at the left tackle position. We don't really have anyone that could, uh, you know, take his place as of right now. But on defense, we got bigger fish to fry. The left end position is now being manned by Marquise Haynes. Normal development, he's 26, two years experience. I'm gonna see if we can package him for someone better. And I saw you guys wondering about why I traded a first round pick. It was the 2022 first round pick. I'm only doing this for this season. I might not even do next season. So those picks don't matter in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, so that, that's why I was using those first, second round picks. I think we still have a third, maybe a fourth in 2022. We're gonna get rid of those with quickness. Might as well just add it now. So there we go. As you can see, the 2021s, we're gonna keep them. We're gonna try to use them, maybe simulate real quick after we're done. But yeah, th these don't matter. <laughs> these don't matter at all. So let me go ahead and add the fourth. People still have no interest though. That's very unfortunate. Samuel is an absolute beast, okay? He, he's, he's really good. He's an 80 overall. He has 96 speed. Hold up, before I trade this man, before, hold up. Be just wait. I mean, this is what we have. This this is what I'm looking at. I know it'll it, it'll happen if we do this. The question is, is Kirkwood good enough to step in and be that third wide receiver? Is, is Farrell Cooper good enough to do that? I don't know. I really don't know, man. Samuel is so good. But do we need him when we have someone like McCaffrey? Do we need him when we have someone like Goddard? Bro, let me see if I can get more from the Eagles. There it is. We made the trade happen. I, I got rid of our third best wide receiver in Curtis Samuel, who has incredible speed but we can find someone else that has that much speed we can't find another bg okay especially when all we gave up was a draft pick that we're not going to use and our third best wide receiver i think will be good we got a great left end what a top 10 left end 88 overall you see the stats right here man he's an absolute monster especially in the run defense the d-line i felt like needed a veteran presence anyway so it's like a blessing in disguise quan short and him along with your turd gross but toast Derek brown now our d-line is looking filthy so we're up to an 81 overall defense i guess we could use a better mlb that's something i still need to look for Derek brown's already up to an 80 developing very fast all right so now we have our d-line situated let's look at how they do versus the chargers yes sir you already know i was going to try to target a former eagle man just like we did with goddard I just, I know these, these are great players. These are great players. Look, he's already getting double teamed. Now, granted, he's a little bit on the older side, but uh, I feel like he has at least two, three more good years in him, and that's all we need. That's literally all we need. So I, I'm not worried about age when it comes to most of these players that I'm trading for. And it really sucks that uh, Brian Burns got injured, but it's a part of football. You guys have seen how many injuries have happened this season. So, you know, it is what it is. That's a good dot. Oh my goodness, nice move as well. Yes, sir, they went deep. They're going deep. One-on-one coverage, come on, baby. Yes, sir! Our number one cornerback, Jason McCourty, with the nice interception. Stop testing him. That man gonna get an award at the end of the season. He keep playing like that. Um, but yeah, let's let's start with a run. Let's start with a run. We just got rid of our third best wide receiver. Luckily, we still have one of the best running backs in the league who can also double as a wide receiver. If Christian McCaffrey wasn't as good at being a receiving back as he is. I don't know if I make that trade. I got to be completely honest. Not to mention Goddard is a very good receiving tight end. You know, Ian Thomas is not a bad one as well. So we have, what, four or five, you know, above average pass catchers on the squad. So I, I still think our offense won't miss a beat. Obviously, that speed is going to be tough to replace. But Robbie Anderson is really fast too. DJ Moore is not, you know, he's a burner as well. So, oh man, there's a flag. Please don't be holding. So now we have to pass the ball. It looks like one-on-one -on -one coverage. Goddard versus, I think that's a safety. If only Goddard had, uh, Goddard had matchup nightmare. That would be an automatic touchdown. Teddy B, take, oh, McCaffrey, no. Just got in his way, man. We're gonna have to punt the ball. All right, pretty solid punt. We got them inside their own 20. This looks like it's gonna be a run. Let's bring out everybody. Okay, never mind. play action. they got me. They got me, oh my goodness. Okay, we got lucky. They dumped it off. 
second and four. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see you turn. The young bull making a play. Baron, you know I'm gonna use you. Oh God. Yes, dump it down. Come on, get there. Oh my goodness, Eckler. You need to relax. The dump offs always kill us in these franchise games. Man. It's just like the quarterback knows that's gonna get them the first down downs every time. They're not even running the ball. They're not even ready. They don't even have to run the ball when their dudes are running routes like this. Come on, thank you. Finally an incompletion. I was hoping for a fumble. I'll take what I can get though. Here we go on a second down and 10. They haven't been going to Keenan. And watch, they're probably going to Keenan right now. Man. I spotlighted them just in case. Over the middle again. Over the middle again. We got, what the hell is going on? It's unfortunate, man. I only have the first quarter to play with these guys. And uh, I, I haven't done much. I, I've been getting cooked on defense. Okay, nice block shed. We got to stop right here. Do I use a timeout? I do. All right, well, it all rides on this. If we can get a stop here, then we'll get a couple plays on offense before we have to hand over the sticks. It's going to be another play action. Jesus Christ. And another dot. All right, so last play. We're going to have an impact on during this game. Let's see what happens. Okay, another dump off over the middle. It could go either way. Let's see what happens. As we held them three, we scored a touchdown. Yes, sir, they scored a touchdown as well. Come on, man. Okay, halftime, they're winning by 10. Yeah, struggling to stop Herbert. Okay, okay, I like it. I, I like it a lot. It's a close game. Chargers are not a bad team. They're a great roster. We're tied heading into the two minute warning in the fourth. They have the lead. And they're gonna keep it. I mean, we fought hard, 20 to 17. Why is Will Greer in the game? Oh my goodness, what the hell happened? He had 22 attempts. Don't tell me Teddy B got injured. Do not tell me Teddy Bridgewater got injured. Well, McCaffrey did his thing. I don't think he's injured. And he killed it in the receiving game, a touchdown through the air. DJ Moore did all right. Six catches, 65 yards. Robbie Anderson, 440. Kirkwood stepping up as the next guy up, I think. I'm pretty sure he's now the new number three. Goddard with a touchdown through the air. Defensive wise, Shaq Thompson killed it in terms of solo tackles. He had the most. Baron had a lot of tackles as well. Look at Brandon Graham. Tack for a loss, a sack, and two tackles in his debut. Just killing it. But let's finish the game. We got to go check the injury report. If Bridgewater is gone, we're going to need a new quarterback. Holy shit. Okay, I don't see anything on uh, Teddy Bridgewater right now. I have no idea what happened. I honestly have no idea why Will Greer got all those touches. Teddy Bridgewater is still, you know, he's still the starter. I'm just a little bit confused. Maybe he was injured. He was out for the rest of the game, but he's not actually out for any period of time. That would be the best case scenario. You know, obviously we lost, but it is what it is. As long as we have our starting quarterback healthy, I'm cool with that, man. So, yeah, that's where we're going to end it. We took our first L of the season. I wasn't expecting this to go undefeated. But we're still first in the division. So yeah, drop a like if you're ready for the next episode, man. I think our team is slowly getting better and better. Thanks for watching to the end. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you on the next one.